another day in paradise. Approved. Um, 250. <laughs> Do you think it's uh, like a butter? It doesn't look... Uh, the you won't believe it's not butter. <laughs> no, it's not butter, I think. It's some kind of... Uh... So let's go. Another day. Welcome to the welcome to the vlog. Another day in paradise. This time is different. Uh, we are changing the format a little bit. It was we got some comments. Yeah, it was too static. It was boring. <laughs> <laughs> so we yeah, have to do it. That's what your girlfriend said, right? So I'm wondering what other people are saying. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> I, I I think yeah only like a local circle of people or saw certain videos beforehand. Um, but yeah anyway. We wanted to change the format, make it more dynamic. So this time we are showing you how uh, the, on, we will be doing this log, recording the first part, going to a diner, right? Yeah, we are going to a diner. Uh, we'll, the, the idea was to visit a typical diner. Yeah, true American, American, American experience. And I'm driving with my mind again. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> You're, you have a strong mind. Yes. So diner is a place where we can grab a breakfast, uh, drink some coffee, yeah, eat a pie, uh, eat a pie, waffles, um, yeah, waffles with, with uh, like chicken or duck. I've never eaten in a diner in San Francisco. I, I've done this a few times while in New York, um, so it's also the first time for me. Uh, so I wonder if it's going to be like in the movies, you know, with the coffee being refilled uh, this time. Of this. It's, it's different because the one uh, like in Hollywood movies, we saw that one in the city center in San Francisco, but mm -hmm. it was very touristy or, or maybe hipster a bit and very expensive. And then the one that we are going to right now is supposed to be more authentic mm -hmm. and it looks like less like a Hollywood mo movie and more like a <laughs> Twin Peaks TV show, I I'd say. Yeah, so I'm I'm curious about that. Yeah. Uh, so that's the first thing. The other thing is that we've been like working. The, the main part of this trip is to do interviews. Yep. With interesting people, and uh, we are arranging. Yeah. Uh, slots and arranging. So we will be uh, publishing more news about that soon. And the other thing is that we are we are going to participate in some hackathons. There is like three hack hackathons coming uh, coming in yeah. uh, in the next few days. So there will be one, I think, tomorrow on the one on Saturday, one on Saturday, and I think one, one on, on Sunday. Sunday, I and I'm sure I'm not sure if we are accepted to the last one, but anyway. Yeah, but they are in San Francisco, and one is in Mountain View. Yeah. For sure. So we need to do a trip. So, to do a trip. Like the long story short is that there are plenty of events around uh, the Silicon Valley area. Uh, but surprisingly to many of them, uh, not, not so many people are like, signing up on Meetup. And there is this new portal that everyone is using right now, which is, which is called uh, Luma, lu.ma. And there's also Partyful, right? And Partyful, yeah. So they are those two. Yeah, uh, instead of even Bright and Meetup, they are using those two. Yeah. So today there is also another interesting, I mean, interesting or like a, coincidentally a Meetup created by our friends. There's a company yeah, called... From Wrocław. From Wrocław, yeah. There's a company called Callstack and they are organizing a non-AI related event, I would say. React Native React optimization Native. related. Yeah, thing. and we are going there uh, tonight or this uh, this afternoon rather yeah uh, to say hello and see what they yeah and we also have a created. permission to, to record uh, yeah we've been doing some or... recording maybe we'll do some interview with the organizers yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the idea why they decided to come here and how can they afford organizing an event in the center of san francisco yeah it's a nicely located <laughs> so it's, yeah. it looks expensive um yeah they're doing this in some sort of gallery art gallery so the company behind it, Colstag, is also organizer of the, the biggest React conference, right? Uh, React Conf. Yeah, co-organizer. Yeah. Co-organizer, yeah. yes. They, the conference will happen in Miami, if I'm... I don't remember. We were not accepted, so I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe... Because yeah. there, there are so many people uh, attracted to it, that there, there was uh, some sort of a lottery, and we, we didn't win our tickets, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
a chance to buy the ticket, which was also yeah, a chance to buy exactly, not, not even a win. And the ticket is was pretty expensive, it was like almost, thousand yeah, dollars. In thousands of dollars, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, it's and we, we tried event. to uh, we tried to bribe some people from Colstack, but they they didn't want they didn't <laughs> accept our money. So it didn't work. So that's the that's the plan, and we also got some because we were asking about permission if we can record those hackathons and yeah. uh, to my surprise people are pretty open and I think we'll be not only well, recording the events <clears throat> but there, are, there will be some interesting people but coming in. To be honest I'm not surprised at all because there, this is free publicity for them right? Mm -hmm. Yeah but I, I would say that you know people may not be um, like at ease with the cameras at times. It could be overwhelming oh, yeah, yeah, when sure. there is a camera in your, in your face without... But you know, this is San Francisco, so maybe they are more used to it than... Yeah, so we will see. We will see how it goes. Yeah, but as I was saying, there will be a lot of interesting founders coming to those uh, yeah. events and we will be doing some interviews like um, guerrilla style or <laughs> like ad hoc uh, interviews uh, on site with some equipment. So we will see how it goes. Uh, how it goes. Did you mention the other meetup that we have today, apart from the cold stack one? Yeah, so the another meetup is uh, Olama meetup. It's like Ol Olama. organized by Olama. Yeah. Olama. It's a company that allows you to, if I, if I remember correctly, to set up uh, LLMs uh, locally yeah. quickly yeah. through just a sim simple unified uh, interface. And the, interface. And the meetup is open source AI meetup. So. It's very on, on track with what we are trying to achieve here. Yeah. And there will be a chance or like a place or a, like a slot during the event to pitch other ideas. And we, we decided to join. We decided to take part in that. Uh, and we'll be pitching one of our ideas. So we are working on this, like a caching idea for LLMs. Yeah. And we will be uh, like, Simply pitching it during the yeah, event. Yeah, you will be pitching it. Yeah, I'm not sure how, how it will be the format. Will there be like a mic you can use? I think it's like open mic and you have maybe something one minute or something. Yeah. So we will be just doing that and, and working on this during the event, hopefully uh, showing it around to the people. Yeah, we just, Kuba just built the landing page for this, like in one hour. Yeah. And I improved the styling of the, of the demo a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we're ready. And we have some like uh, people cheering for us from Poland. Yes. Uh, Piotr, thank you for like a pushing hard on us yeah. uh, for like finishing that. So we want to add some other things. So right now it's just a caching, but uh, Piotr suggested that we should also work on a thing Who's called Piotr? Piotr, I'm not sure if I can say <laughs> the name. Uh, maybe Piotr don't want to. Piotr will know <laughs> <laughs> who he is. But anyway, Piotr su suggested that we should work also on this idea of um, prompt normalization prompt and compression. Uh, compression yeah so so i already did some research in, in this topic so i think we should be ready to implement this or start implementing this yeah there's a paper by microsoft maybe let's ex let's ex <laughs> let's explain the idea of, uh, quickly while we wait for the car to park uh, so the idea is that you, if you have a prompt you can remove certain words and will not at in impact the result. The result, yeah. So the, the AI engine will un understand it as if it was the original problem. Yeah, and we can push it very ha very far. So this yeah, because means that we can uh, remove a lot of words. I'm right? not sure. If, have you seen the the TV show The Office? Uh, no. There is this episode where one of the characters uh, tries to make the language more <coughs> um, efficient and on, on purpose omits certain words, which are okay. which are just used for grammar and not for uh, the, the, the meaning. Yeah, so, so he omits the semantics, basically. So this is this is the uh, prompt compression in. Interesting. The, Actually, that's a great idea for the pitch for tonight. <laughs> Maybe we should start with a you yeah, know, like the, a screen of the the office. Movie. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, it seems that Microsoft was doing some research and they were like removing a lot of words. Like a sp specific words, like the words like a, maybe not the filler words, but the words like, you know, prepositions or yep. yeah, certain, exactly. certain categories of words can be removed and it doesn't impact that much the, the output. And this way you can store the prompt or maybe you can have like different prompts and you can normalize to, to, to the same. Yeah, yeah, the same so, compre so compressed or normalized yeah, version of it. 
So it's easier to transfer because it's less bytes. Yeah. It's easier to, to store because it's the same prompt. Maybe it's e easier to reason about, right? Because for for can... the LLM. Yeah. yeah. And then there is also the reverse mechanism. Uh, you can decompress the prompt. So you can uh, try recovering the original prompt from the converse one. Uh, and it, this is also very, very inter interesting because it's not always lossless compression, yeah. actually. But but it's an interesting topic, and we will be exploring that and adding to our uh, our small project. And you said that it's easier for the LLM, but I think it's also easier for like a testing purposes. If you have a normalized version, this way you could like um, um, like a reason uh, on it easier. Like uh, you can add some like a la you can label certain things. Yeah. So for example, when there is a business that relies on the LLMs and the new version is released. Uh, you need to compare if the model is behaving as expected, right, yeah. uh, to the previous one. And um, so, yeah, this is this is the potential like uh, use cases that we are exploring for this idea. Yeah, but the interesting part is that there is no algorithm to compress the prompt. You use LLM to compress the prompt. <laughs> so when the version of the LLM changes or the model yeah. changes. The com compression method also changes. Yeah, the normalization is like a, it's a different technique or different. Yeah. Uh, so it's interesting, but still there is this saying in this in this AI space that many people don't know what they are doing because we don't really know how LLMs work, right? We we know the with so many levels of the d deep learning, it's really impossible to, for the human brain to reason about it. Yeah, and just the fact that it works in, in a sense that <laughs> given, yeah. So uh, that's the that's the plan for today, for the upcoming days. I think we are almost there. Yeah. Just a minute from the location. So let's stop here and see you in the diner. Yep, bye bye. To fifty. <laughs> so they're coming in. Yeah, we need to cross. It's like we got to a completely different city now. We are closer to San Francisco, but it's. is different. Yeah, so it seems there is a parking lot here. Yeah, but it's full. It's full? Yep. Oh, I think there are places. So that's the place, breakfast at Tiffany's. Hey. Hello there. I like the fonts in the, in the menu. Yeah, it looks interesting. So you have like a four types, I think. Okay, so we just ordered the uh, original Mexican. That's not original, it's better. <laughs> Coca-Cola, and it's, it tastes very good, and it has like a better uh, ingredients, right? Yeah, because it's the American one contains, I think, corn syrup. It's cane sugar. And this one is for yeah, cane sugar. It's better and it's more expensive also. Yeah, so let's see. You also have this. I will. I think it's. Yeah, tastes different, like the old Coca Cola. Before they reduced sugar in Europe, right? We also have beautiful mugs with coffee. Very nice. Oh wow! Oh wow! Looks delicious. Thank you very much. I want this. <laughs> okay, so we just uh, had our... But your bacon is more crispy than mine. Because I asked uh, specifically for a crispy bacon. And this is crab that they call the sour, sourdough. Yeah. And it's like just normal European bread. <laughs> and we also have waffles. Yeah, waffles look amazing. Do you think it's uh, like a butter? It doesn't look... Uh, the you won't texture. believe it's not butter. <laughs> 
No, it's not butter, I think. It's just some kind of... Uh... Mm. Interesting. Very good. Definitely not butter. Thank you. Okay, Kuba. So how did you like it? I liked it very much. It was delicious. One of the best breakfasts so far. Really? Better than the one I made? Yeah, much, much better. <laughs> well, it's, it's only one week we are here, but it was very, very good. Yeah, it was, it was delicious. I really like the, the potato. Of, lot of sugar. Hash. I really like the bacon. It was perfectly done. Did you like the potato hash? Yes, with ketchup, like the British people do. And it wasn't that expensive, actually. We only paid like seven one five. billion, trillion dollars. Five yeah, 75 for three, three people with unlimited coffee and... Yeah, that was nice. Uh, like in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> do you want uh, more coffee? Yeah, yeah do, do you think it's a r romantic comedy or what, what sort of movie are we in? I'm not sure. Uh, I was thinking Pulp Fiction. The, the scene when there is like, you know, <laughs> with the wallet. With the wallets. Okay, uh, so I guess this was pretty nice experience, and see you later at yeah, we some are of heading, the events in San Francisco. We are heading back to home and preparing for the events. So yeah, yeah follow us along the way. Yeah, bye bye.